Hey, what's going on everybody? It's a little early here on a Sunday morning, but I gotta get the Fox body cleaned because today I am going to the Fall Fox event sponsored by Windy City Stangs, which is a local uh, Mustang club out here in the Chicagoland area. Today's show is dedicated to Fox bodies. Uh, all Mustangs are welcome, obviously, but uh, it's dedicated to Fox bodies. So it should be a pretty cool show. Uh, I hope to get some rollers, maybe. Uh, but at the very least, you're gonna see some pretty cool Fox bodies. I had a couple buddies that are gonna come hang out today too. You definitely wanna see their cars. One in particular, I guarantee uh, it'll be worth sticking around for, trust me. You've never seen one like this before. So let's take a quick look at my car. I'll tell you a little bit about it and then we will get going. So this is my 89 Mustang GT. I bought this car about three years ago. It had 60,000, maybe 400 miles and some change on it. Uh, it was what I thought was 100% stock, but uh, when I had the car taken apart, we found that it actually had an E-cam in it and it also had a 373 gear. It was also an AOD uh, car that had something done to it. I'm not sure if it was a ship kit, valve body, what, but it, it moved uh, a lot better than a stock AOD would uh, in these cars. So since then, it's still got the stock bottom end, but it does have the Trick Flow top end kit on it. I believe it's the Track Heat uh, top end kit. It's got full uh, exhaust with uh, off road H pipe, full masters out the back, you know, typical uh, Fox body uh, exhaust. Uh, it does have a Vortec V3, and this supercharger is the Heritage Edition, so it's got these straight cut gears on it, and you're gonna hear that a little bit later. Sounds great. It's loud and obnoxious, just like a, a supercharger should be. So, uh, you know, just my opinion, I think if you got a blower, uh, you should let everybody hear it. It's not like the olden days where uh, everybody was trying to hide what they had under the hood. I want everybody to know. Anyway, here's the car, you know, again, it's pretty clean. It's, this is, I guess, what you would call period correct. You know, back in the day, this is kind of the setup that most people had. Um, you know, heads cam intake, supercharger, and, uh, you know, pretty vanilla, I guess you'd say. But it's what I've always wanted. And for right now, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, again, the car's pretty, uh, pretty clean, pretty straight. I bought it this way. So whoever painted it did an amazing job, not just on the paint, but also, you know, on all of this trim. The paint on them is just amazing. So this is all stuff that I found after the fact. I actually found this car on eBay, believe it or not. So I bought it sight unseen, but I did see probably 75 pictures of the car and um, I was more than satisfied and I'm actually really happy now that I've got it so let's take a quick peek inside again you know I like the stock appearance so I'm trying to keep the car looking as stock as possible and you know sorry for the it's kind of dim in here but uh, we will take another look once we get outside but anyway, again, like I like the stock appearance. I like the stock look. Even though all the plastic is like a 10 year old put this thing together, it's still just, this is what I grew up with and this is kind of what I like. So for now, it's gonna stay stock looking. It definitely doesn't sound stock once you fire it up. Anyway, here's the car. Gonna get it cleaned up here. And this is pretty much my go-to. I don't know about you guys, but once my car is clean, I don't have to wash it. Uh, it stays in the garage. It's usually covered. So I just use a little bit of glass cleaner. This Meguiar's waterless wash and wax is amazing. I mean, it keeps the car real clean. It actually smells kind of good. Um, also, this is uh, great for like cleaning the engine bay. It's just a little bit of water and some dish soap. You know, I don't soak it. I just spray the rag or I spray the area. It actually really does a great job on the accessories. My accessories were, were pretty dirty and I was getting to the point where I wanted to replace them just because they were so dirty. A little bit of dish soap with some Scotch-Brite or you know even just a rag and you just let it soak for a little bit and it all came right off. So these are not painted, that's just uh, a little bit of elbow grease, uh, but I think it looks pretty good. And then you can never go wrong with a little bit of canned air. This helps a lot, so. All right guys, so there she is. Oh, and just uh, if anybody's wondering, Dyno, uh, the car did 432 at the rear wheels, and that's about, you know, as, as, as far as you can go with a conservative tune, 
on a stock block. Um, so I can have fun and not have to worry too much about hurting the motor. And maybe someday we'll, we'll do something about that. But for right now, it's staying with the stock block and I'm just having some fun with it. All right, guys, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna clean the car real quick and then we are gonna go see some Fox bodies. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's uh, go take a little walk around of the car. Again, here you can kind of see the interior. Uh, I'll get out here in a second. We'll take a quick look. Again, this is a Trick Flow track heat top end kit, so that's Trick Flow Stage 1 cam. Straight gut gears. Doesn't sound exactly like a V1, but it's pretty close and it's uh, it's definitely got a more unique sound. But you can absolutely hear it on the outside of the car. I think it sounds great. Let's everybody know that you're coming. Alright, let's take another look at the interior here. Again, it's all just like a stock looking interior with the exception of the gauges right here, but uh, everything else is pretty much stock. Anybody that really knows me knows my buddy Tyson. This is just a little uh, in memory of my buddy. He used to be my co-pilot and still is. All right, guys, let's pop the hood.
right guys, I promised you something pretty cool, so let's go take a look at Mario's car. Look at this engine bay. This is truly one of a kind right here. As far as I know, it's a 347, and it's got a Vortec YSI race blower. Check out these rims. Oh boy. Follow him on Instagram, guys. And take a little peek inside. And again, you guys gotta check out these wheels. Look at this. Evan Nacho SSP on Instagram. Super clean. This is an SSP car and it's got a beautiful patina on it. And I think it's gonna stay that way. These rims, I don't know if the camera's doing it justice or not, but these are some really nice rims on here really pops Look at this, guys. Oh boy. Look how clean this car. How many miles? 9,000. This is the original 9,000 mile car, right? Yeah. All right, you guys heard that right. This is an original 9,000 mile car. Obviously not the original motor, but uh, 9,000 miles. Jeez, look at the quarter glass, like brand new. I'll take it on that construction really line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably all nerfed up. Behind you, you're exhausted. Or you can give it I told him yesterday, it was white enough for Super clean vert here. 1987. Look at this, guys. You don't see them like this much anymore. All original, all stock. Regatta Blue, which you all know is my favorite. A little bit partial here. Even got the turbines. bad boy right here we got a v1 we'll see if we can get the hood open a little bit later Incredibly clean 93 Cobra, guys. Wow. That's 
see if we can take a peek inside right here. Wow. What's up, Nick? <laughs> That's the truth right there, boys. These are fox bodies. Let's go check this guy out. Ooh, I like that white. Wow. Really clean turbo car here, guys. Just too. <laughs> The non fox bike, those things. <laughs> I spy a Cobra. Now, I ain't gonna touch that anymore. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> Great turnout today. So that's a wrap. Had a great time today. It's perfect weather to get out cruising with the Fox Bodies. If you guys have any questions or comments about the cars today, post them down below. I'll do my best to answer some of the people I don't know, but uh, I'll do my best anyway. So hope you enjoyed my first video. One more last look at the Fox Body and then I'm gonna get out of here, guys.